What is up guys and welcome back for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today we're going to be covering a problem that some of you might have uh, come across and didn't know how to fix or just thought it didn't work and tried to move on with your idea. But what it is is trying to um, use the rigid body tags and the collider and the rigid body tag um, and trying to fill uh, kind of like this this tank and if I come here and look all of our objects actually hit the top of our tank and bounce off so if I uh, back out here and I click play none of them actually go inside our tank they all just hit the top of our tank and um, stop right there and there's actually an extremely easy way to fix this problem so we have our tank where which is right here I'm gonna go into the collider tag on our tank and I'm gonna come down to the collision tab and then down to shape and on shape it's set to automatic so what automatically does is it it is the fastest um, calculation for the shape that Cinema 4D can make. So it sees it's a square and that's all it sees. That's the fastest calculation. It doesn't take into account that part of it is actually missing. So if we come into this drop down menu and go down to static mesh, static is standing still and mesh is just the uh, more complex version of this. So now that we have a static mesh, I'm gonna go down to the other one and I'm just gonna change both of them. But now, when we press play, they should fall into our tank this time, and they'll bounce off the walls, and uh, our our tank will fill up a little bit more. So if I change this to like a hundred by a hundred birth rate, we'll get more uh, spheres coming down, so you can see it fill up a little bit more. But now we're actually starting to fill up the tank here. Um, if I go ahead here and do a quick render, hopefully it doesn't take too long. It's because all the reflections. To speed this up, I'm just going to take off um, global illumination and ambient inclusion. We got a little. A little frozen right now. There we go. It's heavy on the machine. All right, so if I render this, it'll render out real fast. Um. So now we can actually see the spheres inside our little uh, tub or our little tank that we made, and. This is a very easy fix on how to solve the problem of them stopping on the top. The uh, other thing is I was getting one question too about the water filling a tank. And you can drop this all into a metal balls object. Um, the only thing with that is when you press play, it's going to start falling through. But as soon as you stop it, it actually calculates it being captured inside the our uh, tank here so if I go ahead and render this out our liquid is actually caught in our tank even though it is shown falling through our tank it still uh, runs the calculation of being inside the tank um, because they are spheres, it's not as fluid like as some of the plugins you can get. I you could probably make this these spheres a bit smaller. It might help. Um, so I'll let this run for a little bit, and then I guess they might be a little bit too small. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. See, I think they're just a little bit too small to the point where they weren't touching if that makes sense 
because the way that metaballs works is they have to be uh, so close to each other that they kind of melt into each other. So that's the only problem with trying to get uh, more of a fluid look. You, you can get this is probably one of the closest. Uh, if I go into content browser and materials and miscellaneous and grab that same um, liquid like material that we were using last time and we render this out it's more like ice but it's closer to uh, water if this is all you got there is very expensive and really really well done um, plugins I believe real flow is one and I know there's a bunch of other ones but uh, this is just one way to kind of create a liquid to fill a tank and not just get stopped at the top edge of our cube. So yeah, if uh, you guys found this useful, leave a like button, really appreciate it. And that's going to be it for this tutorial today. Um, hopefully you guys got something out of it. And I will see you guys all next time. See you guys.